Thank you so much for your understanding, Mr. Sharma and Miss Puanish. Ah, please, madam. You have my admiration for voluntarily taking care of these kids. Besides, technically speaking, this room doesn't belong to me anymore. But to my sister Kumar, I wish I could leave the house to you for future use. But you heard what the lady said. I don't even know if the house will survive the meteor. This is the latest batch of Darjeeling tea. Some locals gave it to me when I went across their village. Ah, careful. It's hot. <gasps> you twine on it together? You've been lying to me all this time? Hey, quiet before the Shajah. You don't lose anything, my lady. Please forgive me, will you? Now pass me cookies. I need to fill my belly and get to work. My apologies, Visharja. I know this is totally out of the blue. And the details are yet to be verified. But a valuable time is running out. The last thing we should do is keep on waiting. Um... Kala Bauna. My, I think I know this name. I've read the paper co-authored by you and, uh, Professor Himani. Huh? You've read my paper? Yeah, I'm studying in a public university in Chandigarh. I get to learn a lot of new stuff there. I had a whim to study astronomy before, and I remember reading it in a periodical. Yes, I'm sure. It's the same name. This part, and this part. I've read them in your paper, but um, this one on the side? I don't know anything like it. It's okay. That one involves the knowledge of Arcanum. Anyway, this is good news. No, great news. So what are you doing in Morpunk? Oh, I take care of the kids here in my spare time. Most of them are humans, but there are Arcanists too. I see. So, what are you going to do now? I know the top priority is to evacuate the villagers. But we don't have much time since the Deepa festival will start in less than four days. Besides, things are complicated in this village. Most of them, including me, had moved to Chandigarh. And the rest of them... I've heard about that on the way here. Most villagers are reluctant to leave no matter what I say. I tried by starting with those young arcanists, but shame it didn't work at all. The silver lining is, we have the helping hand of Ms. Boanish. She will try to make contact with the Foundation as soon as possible. But we still need to evacuate every villager we can. We know almost nothing about Kumar's plan now. 
not to mention her whereabouts or purpose. Relax. For now, we have two solutions to the problem. First, let's find my clever evil sister so that our astronomer friend can figure out a way to stop the meteor. Or spread the word and tell everyone to take the earliest train and leave the impact area. It's hard to be optimistic given the situation, but at least there is something we can do to reduce the damage. But if we continue to sit around waiting, the situation will only worsen. Come, let's think. Génial Il est finalement utile SPF-1 Portable Contact Device activated. Welcome. Arcane Skill Verification activated. Please make sure you are not equipped with any wands. Read out the random incantation displayed on the screen clearly. Make sure your tone remains stable. Verification success. Registered user, Matilda Buanish. Access level D. No abnormal arcane skill fluctuation detected in the area so far. Level D access only supports quick report. Hmm? Accès insuffisant. La description dit. Oh. Donc seul un enquêteur peut demander un renfort via ce système. Alors, à quoi ça sert de le transporter partout Je pensais que ce serait utile pour les urgences. Non, cela signifie-t-il que je vais rater l'occasion d'étudier l'énergie céleste en plus de gâcher ma chance de capturer le Magnus La réception est terrible ici Comment est-ce que je vais entrer en contact avec la Fondation Oh, that doesn't sound like any progress with her. And what I have here is only books. Books and books and books. Nothing else. Calf feeding and management. Is my sister really an astronomer? Was I mistaken about anything? Hey, Matilda, if you like... There should be the last two pieces of Plera J on the table. Remember to have them with tea, or it's going to hurt your throat and ruin your beautiful voice. Kanjira was ecstatic about those cookies. She even took three pieces with her when she left. I hope that kind human girl would get to the train station safely with those kids. Now, let's take a look at you. What are you doing? Is this the stone Kumar left to you? Vishnu? Brahma creates, Shiva exterminates, and Vishnu safeguards the balance of the world lying on the ocean of stars. <sighs> According to the materials, well, maybe I should explain it with mythologies for non-researchers. They mentioned three idols, but Vishnu's is the only one left, so she must have taken the other two. 
Perhaps it's proof that Komar abandoned the path of maintaining the balance in the first place. That mural there. She said the mythology on it has been passed down in her family. <sighs> That's true. I've recited that story at least 20 times. But the part on the mural, to be honest, it feels so out of place to me. It was more like foisted into those well-known myths. Like, um, a pair of ox horns on a horse's head. An unusual metaphor. But actually, it plays a significant part in connecting all the mythologies we know. These mythologies are the primary material of our research. We've been trying to prove human science with basic arcanum theory. In fact, there is a connection between them, and they can support each other. If arcanists and humans could get along, I suppose the world would have developed faster than it does now. It's not easy to explain it through, but in short, there is another universe in the shape of an egg affecting reality. We call it the Meditator's Realm. Just like our daily dreams, you can enter it once you fall asleep. But that's not how we do it. We connect part of our gnosis with the realm through a special kind of meditation. It's not as easy as it sounds. One needs to either master the meditation skills like we do, or use a special medium as an anchor. Some mythologies are the original translation of the realm, an existence that cannot be observed through the methods in this world, can be located as long as it is included in mythology. That's how we located that star. Sadly, if we can't prove its existence with data recorded by human technology, our discovery is useless. I'm surprised. For all this time, she has never given up on studying the old Arcanum tale of our family. You can even say she's fanatic about it. It's just... Indeed, we can do a lot of supernatural things in the realm. If your mind is calm or your anchor is strong enough, you can even do whatever you want. But it's limited inside there. Remember I said it's like our daily dreams? Just think of it as a controllable one. Everything in the realm is created based on reality. In other words, it's nothing but a mirror. And the images in a mirror can never affect reality. It's impossible to bring anything into the realm. Not to mention taking anything out. But the statues in the cave actually exist in this world. They are tangible. That means she's gone much further than I do. She mastered a method I'm not aware of. What bewilders me is her arcane skill. How did she do that if not for the manas' help? Oh, come on. She also knows that cave a lot better than I do. Right? We never hung out much. How long did she stay in the village on her last visit? A month maybe? Or two weeks? I'm not sure. I even crushed her glasses by accidentally sitting on them. Those are the same glasses you have on your belt. At that time, I thought she was a distant relative I don't know of. After all, it's rare to meet someone so clever and open-minded in this village. I even lent this room to her. This was my secret basement, you know. 
But only after we parted did my father tell me that she's my sister, the daughter they sent away for lack of Arcanum talent. I do remember those days roughly. Back then, I couldn't find her in the institution. I was all alone for a long time. What happened to her has inevitably affected me. I grew more and more rebellious against the family rules. It's like a story full of cliches. Giving up the training, refusing to listen to my father, skipping all the practice I could possibly avoid. I didn't want to be the blockhead hedged by the so-called family heritage. Of course, at the end of the story, I paid my price for breaking away. But I think for her, it is even harder to break free. I guess her plan is to invite me over to this dump full of bad memories and swoosh, boom, smash all the annoyances with a star. <laughs> hmm, that's a solemn ending. Pity the ones she hates are all gone now. But how come you're invited too? Did you upset her as well? Hmm. <sighs> That's a good point. Hatred could be the most likely reason. Actually, we didn't get along well after we left the university. Ever since our identities as Arcanists were exposed, we couldn't stay in the institution anymore. That's also the beginning of our disagreement. I always thought that, on the way to proving myself, ourselves, we were each other's only friend and best partner. How could I finish my study in campus full of humans without her? But then, my mind was changed. I wouldn't have connected Kumar with the man as Vindicte if Hermani's words were all I heard. But I know that was not the first time they made contact. You mean... Yes. I don't know the reason, but the Manus has contacted her long ago. She gave them the cold shoulder at the time. But I knew something inside her had changed. Soon after that, she left me, taking all the materials with her. I know the only thing I can do to meet her again is keep walking on the way to study that celestial body. That will lead me to her one day. As I said, we could frequently feel the existence of each other from the changes of the celestial body. But she could always find more information than I do because the traces left by Arcanum are more obvious than those left by science. This connection between us conveyed my belief to her that one day we would meet again as colleagues. I just didn't expect that this would be the final outcome of my observation, or that we would end up on the opposite sides. Hmm. Can there be any lamer stories to tell than these two? For now, we can't find more clues in our house. Maybe we should go to the shrine again? How much do you remember the myth of your family? As I just said, that was the primary material of our study. <laughs> Running and jumping around with hot tea. I sure know the fun within. But at my age, with the benefit of hindsight, 
I have to tell you to be careful. You might get burned by the tea. No, no, it's the spice. The spice in the tea. More spice to it? Hmm. I do have a dozen kinds of different spices with me. Looks like you are very used to them in tea. Exactly! Tea spices! <laughs> now it's time for Matilda to show you her best shot! Oh, cumin. Oh, you also have clove blossom here. Fantastic. The crystal divination. I've spent too much time in the human world to remember the convenience of Arcanum. If I can foresee any sign about Kumar, our problem will be ended. With the help of the great Matilda, of course. Hmm. Okay, take a deep breath. Give me your hands. Rest them on top of mine. Yes, like that. Now, think of Kumar in your head. Is that the train station? Already reached more 